All right, we made it back to the house. We just got back from picking up another goat, believe it or not. Erica talked me into it. No, I'm kidding. So we went and got another goat. This is gonna end up being our herd, herd sire, which he's just eight weeks old right now. He ended up having to be weaned due to an unfortunate accident with his mom. She passed away, but we went on ahead and got him. The guy we got him from said that uh, he's been on hay and grain for the past couple of days with no bottles. So he, he really shouldn't, he shouldn't have to be bottle fed anymore. We may try to bottle feed him a little bit because I'd like for him to be gentle and come to us. So we'll just say, if you see his head right here, he got a little blood. When uh, Michael, uh, the guy we bought him from, pinned him up, he rammed his head into the pen and skinned his head up just a tad bit. But we'll put some blue coat on that, keep the flies off of it, and he should be good to go. But here's a good look at him while he's standing up. He's a, uh, he's a Kiko boar mix. His mom was Kiko and uh, his daddy is a boar. So we've already got a, a nanny that looks just like him out there, a dapple, brown and white. So I, I really like the dapples. I just like the look of them. That has nothing to do with their body shape or meat or anything. It's just a personal, I like their coats. But we'll get him all doctored up, get him in the pen. And we gotta do some work on some other goats. We gotta give some dewormer and an antibiotic shot to one of them. So we'll take y'all along with that. Let's get him moved to the pen. We're gonna put him in the pen with our bottle baby. Just so we can handle him a little bit. You know, I don't know if he'll take a bottle or not. We may try just to see, like I said earlier. But I don't want him to get big and unruly where we can't handle him later on down the road so all right i'm gonna go get some blue coat spray it on him and we'll be good to go with him we'll go work with the other one all right so i got some of this flower repellent ointment i'm just gonna rub it on him and then i'm gonna put some uh liquid bandage on him to seal that up that way he should be good to go from there All right, we got her dewormed, or wormed rather. We didn't worm her with the rest of them when we got her because she was about to have babies. So I didn't want to give her any until she had the had her kid. But we got her wormed. Forgot to turn the camera on, but we got that brown one shot of antibiotic. I'm pretty sure she's got uh, sore mouth going on. Figure antibiotic won't hurt it any. We'll see if that makes it any better on her. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. You doing good. The guy we got him from is a Pollard Farm and Homestead. They do goats and they also do a lot of jams and jellies. Right here they gave us some mild pineapple pepper. So you can get a good look at that. Mm -hmm. And she also gave us some strawberries top syrup. But anyway, they're really good people, and they also have a YouTube channel and a Facebook page. We'll link that in the description below. If you guys uh, watch us, if you just go over there and look at their videos, they do the same thing we do. They're really good Christian people, and we like them. They're good people to hang around. But thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good night. Hey guys, so we just got back home. Uh, we just ran out and got two new goats. 
I know that's probably not a shocker for anyone. Uh, so that brings us up to eight goats now, which, you know, one of our goats is pregnant with twins that she should be delivering probably within this next month, I would say. And then that puts us as three more goats that have been exposed. Uh, we don't really know if they're uh, bred yet, but they have been exposed. So who knows here in the next few months what our goat count is gonna look like. But we did just get back from getting these goats. Uh, and so I'm gonna show y'all these real quick in here. All right, well, like you said, we just got back from getting some more goats. Um, these are a little more four influenced goats. They got a little bit of Spanish and Kiko in them. Uh, but they look, their coats and stuff, their coloring looks like four. This one's definitely got some Kiko in her. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get them deworm, put some worm in them just because I got them. You know, I don't know what their condition is. They all, they, their eyes look okay, as far as the Vermont scoring, but just go ahead and hit them with that being a new property and the shock of being out here and stuff. I don't, just go ahead and hit it with them, just to be safe. Hey, baby. And the little goat we got last week, he's done really well uh, mixing in with the other ones. We've just left him out here. Uh, since we got him a little bit early from being weaned because his mom died, we were gonna bottle feed him. But uh, before we got him a few days after his mom died and since that, he was just kind of being fed grain and grass and everything. So when we got him here, we tried bottle feeding him, but he really wasn't having it much so he has just been kind of coming out here eating the grass and hanging out with the other goats and he's doing really good and getting along pretty good with them uh we haven't had any issues out of him yet he is pretty noisy he likes to yell but i mean that's really the worst about him And then coming back here also just in the back of our house we have got this dog uh, kennel pen thing uh, that is what used to be around our chicken coop it's kind of like the run which you know we free range our chickens so we really didn't need it around there anymore but so we have been keeping the little girl just out here in this pen uh, she's been staying out here so for those that missed uh, one of our last videos, we did have our baby goat born. Uh, her mom didn't want to feed her right away, just didn't want anything to do with her. So she has been a bottle baby from the very first minute. Uh, the first week we did keep her inside just in our bathtub, but as she got bigger, she could start getting out of the bathtub and it honestly was really annoying to deep clean our bathroom or our bathtub, you know, every little bit but she is small enough that she can fit through part of our fencing out there with all the other goats so we've had to keep her in this little pen uh when she likes it we let her out all the time and she just kind of follows us around the yard but she shouldn't be out here too much longer but she is just out here right now and she's got plenty of space to kind of roam around and then also last week we went and got five turkeys they're blue slate turkeys uh like i said we just got them last weekend and they have already grown so much uh so since we got five of them what our plan is is to obviously raise them up let them get bigger three of them eat so one for christmas one for thanksgiving and then try to do some ground turkey 
and then keep two of them we're hoping we got a tom and a female one that way we can breed and try to do that and raise our own meat that way i think uh, that would be really good we've been eating a lot of ground turkey lately from this store so we're just gonna try to do it ourselves and if it doesn't work out you know that's fine we're just kind of giving it a little trial thing And we just kind of scooted their little house over since they were kind of eating all that grass there. Uh, this little chicken coop we got when we got our very first chickens, which we only had four at the time. Obviously, our flock quickly outgrew this tiny little coop. But this thing has come in handy so much for different things that we've been doing. Like I said, right now, it's been housing these little baby turkeys, but we've used it... For injured chickens for chickens that are kind of broody uh, so it's been a pretty good little thing I'm glad we've kept it and then also like I said we just have this dog kennel enclosed sometimes when we're out uh, we'll let the little turkeys out to kind of roam around but there is one that's still uh, little enough to fit through the slips there and then like I said we've just been keeping the little goat in there at night and throughout the day when we're not outside all right guys so i think that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed uh just kind of seeing our new animals and we will see y'all next time bye